All right, so this is the kit. It comes with a... Hey, I'm Tony, and this is Tony's Tractor Adventure. And today we're going to do a cool upgrade on the Bighorn side-by-side. -side. We are going to make a remote control winch. So right now you have to push the button inside the dash, and that's the only way you can make the winch coming out. But I got this cool kit. Let me show you what it comes with. So this is the kit. It comes with a new winch relay. Uh, it comes with a controller box. This is the receiver. It comes with two remotes. It has a, uh, a big remote and then a, a small one here and the set of instructions. It looks fairly simple. I may wish I hadn't said that. So it comes with a little, one of these little small batteries. I don't even know what they are. It's, they're 12 volt. Sure we can get them on the, on the Amazon if we need them. Edit this out. It's got little screws that you take the thing out. The button goes over. Let's see if the light lights up in. The red comes on. Okay, the first thing we do, and we started this off, I disconnected the ground cable because we're gonna be working with the power right here. And the only thing that I don't like is the fact that the instructions are very, 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 very tiny and they're not color instructions. However, there is a picture on the Amazon page that we'll pull up with the phone. All right, so this kit, as we showed earlier, comes with a 12 volt relay. This is all metal. And the reason I got this kit is this relay is identical. Uh, they'll work. Uh, they're interchangeable. However, this kit was about, uh, I think it was about $7 more and you got a, another extra relay. So I thought it would be not a bad idea to have that relay on hand. So all we have to do now is take our box. Again, this blue wire is your antenna wire and we got to figure out a place that we want to put this. Like we want to put it here or do I want to mount it here? So I noticed one thing right off the bat is when the kit comes, it comes with a white, a yellow, a red, a black, and a blue. Well, the paperwork uh, talks about greens and um, no white wire. So there's there's some confusion here in the instructions. However, I was the picture that comes on Amazon is is the one you need to. This is what this is the actual right one. So the white wire goes to the the in. Uh, the yellow wire goes to the out. So that's the two you hook, hook into your wiring harness. So we'll keep that right here. And so this. You got these two wires right here. This is, provides the power to the system. I've already loosened this up. This will go to your wet red wire right here. And this is your, uh, so this provides the power to the remote system. All right, I'll go ahead and tighten that down. Don't go all hook on these either. All right, so the next one is going to be your uh, power source for, or excuse me, your ground for your remote. So this is this this wire here goes directly to the battery. So that's a perfect ground. I'll go ahead and loosen this up. Now mine has a white and a brown wire. This red wire uh, it comes on dead ends at this switch right here. So we're gonna assume that the white is the white. And the worst case scenario is you push in, in will be out and out will be in. So we, got, we may have to come back and change that, but so we're kind of guessing here, unless we just, uh, I don't know, maybe we could uh, just plug it in temporarily, see what happens. That's always an option, right? Give us some. All right, now we got this done in a, in a manner that uh, I feel pretty comfortable with that we're not gonna short out anything. We're gonna go ahead and put our battery cables back on so that we can do some testing. Before it rains on us, it's starting to rain. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the key to the run position. So this means we do have now, oh, we have power here uh, to these two wires. So what I'm gonna do is figure out which one is which. We're not going to use the red. Make sure I don't put it in that one. I heard it click. Definitely the other way. Yo! All right. Scared. Go ahead and look down. So that's the out. 
Okay, I guess so, so the yellow is in and the white is out. So this is going to be in. All right. So yellow is in, white is out. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and plug this back up. I've got some dreaded little clickers here. And what I'm going to do is just these quick connects, people hate them. I hate them too. I'm just going to get rid of these because it doesn't have an eyelet on my system. Who all uses a Leatherman? I've used the Leatherman all these years in, in the Army. I had one. Leatherman and Gerber. And these things, I've got hooked on them, and I never could not have one. I know there's better tools, but it's always, it's always there and handy. This is up under the hood and it's pretty well protected. So don't make me like these quick connects, but they are so convenient. I'll spray them down with a uh, anti-corrosive spray. All right, so now, theoretically when I push this button, something should happen. So, Out button, in button. All right, that's the one remote. The other remote has an on and off button. So push on, out, and there you go. That's how easy this kit is to put on. And you have this little relay left over. And if you go to buy this relay by itself, it's about 20 bucks by itself. And if you buy it with a kid, it's seven bucks. So just, who knows? All right, the last thing we're gonna do is mount this. I think I wanna mount it right here. It seems like it'll be a really good place. I don't see anything it's gonna get into. Look on the other side of that. That's pretty much uh, free and clear. So I'm gonna make that, that'll be a good place to mount this. Probably a short screw would have not been a terrible idea. At some point in time, I will stick my head in there and poke. All right, everything is in its place. I'm gonna spray some anti-corrosive spray on these. All right, so I'm just spraying this anti-corrosive stuff. I'm putting it in there liberally. I'm gonna my fingers, hit my battery cables again. Don't know what it does, but it keeps it from corroding. Well, I guess I do know what it does, I just don't know how it does it. It's voodoo. All right, there you go. We have got the remote put in. It was very, very easy. Stay tuned in the next video and we'll show you how to put a synthetic uh, cable in. God bless, have a great day.